who are an arcane student. Okay. They wanted to be a scribe. Zverf Neblin male, soldier. Zverf Neblin female. Uh, scribe. The, um, what were the other roles? Three and five. We're doing that now, Luke's. Okay. <laughs> Mark, I hear gladiator, 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 and gladiator. <laughs> uh, one of them said that they were an acolyte. That was the male gnome. And we'll have to come up with a god or goddess for the gnomes. And then um, the last one is closed-lipped about what she's done. Well, she's... She, uh, so we did the preliminary assessment, and yep. uh, Ashoka already knows which ones he wants. Um, he wants evil scum and mysterious one. Yep. There's a, <laughs> there's a guard or a soldier, a there's a scribe, an acolyte, and uh, the mysterious one. Put arcane next to the scribe bit so people don't forget. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, uh, they're arcane student. It doesn't mean she can cast spells yet, uh, like she was studying it. But uh. Lucas, I think we're going to end up rolling any of them that are like heroic, but we have to figure out which ones are heroic. And you know, Gumby number four is yep. just going to be Gumby number four. None of us have desire to go into the arena, says the soldier. That, now that there's talking. Sometimes life is not defined by desires. Yeah, they don't like your answer. It's the best answer that I have. It's, it is the most truthful answer you will ever get out of Ashoka. <laughs> That's true. The more educated and more skilled you are, the easier it will be to find a appropriate place. If there is no appropriate place, the options are grim. The arena versus hard labor or some other random sale. We are in the Imperium of Man. Stondergate has fallen to the Imperium of Man, says the mysterious one. And then the soldier just, no thanks to the likes of you. There are methods of gaining levels of autonomy for your people. We know those who do it. If they provide champions, they can fight for, effectively, the autonomy of their personages. Those under their... typically is by family. Uh, we have a gladiator who does such. His family owns a winery. He fights for that winery's independence. Will we be able to practice our religion? Open practice of religion is confined to... Typically it is combined, com uh, confined to the arena. Now that being said, depending on what your religion is, um, we yeah. are amicable to its practice. We are not... Typical Imperials. In fact, you could say we are not Imperial at all. I'm a green 
snake man, and this is a barbarian pirate dude. Speaking, Mister, I worked on a pirate ship. Do you have any ranks in like boat stuff? Absolutely not. <laughs> do you know what which end of, of the boat is the front of the boat? What kind of barbarian do you think I am? Uh, Let's see. Um... <laughs> Mark is just throwing bombs in the chat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can practice I'm serving me breakfast. <laughs> I'm an acolyte of Garl. Garl, in the eyes of the Imperium, is, is an old god. If we do not sacrifice, I will not be able to practice. What do you need to sacrifice? <laughs> what are you sacrificing? Yeah, like? Just, like, visibly trying not to face palm. <laughs> not all of us follow Garl. Keep your faith to yourself, says the mysterious one. The soldier this, looks. The soldier looks this, worried. This woman is just like she is upselling herself so hard. She's going to end up being like I don't know. Some of them. Is he the god, is he the god of breakfast? <laughs> uh, Garl glitter, glitter wax or whatever, glitter axe or glitter gold, glitter gold. Yeah. There is... We are at... Vatapol. Are you familiar with it? That is far from Stondergate. Far from our homes. There's a region here called the Market of the Old Gods. There are many religions which are practiced in its area. Our house... Healer is a... Cordian. Member of a group called the uh, Masked Theologians. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's over there, actually. Look, he's creating water. Good job, God. Hmm. Are you our new masters? The men who owned you stole from us, and we slew them by local law, as opposed to their estates paying the debts in coin, we were given their property, which in this case is you and this boat. We are not slavers, we are, but we do run a gladiatorial ludus. Why? Okay, they do not look happy at that. Prospect. At this point in time, we need to determine what is the best thing for us to do with each of you. They are begging for you guys to let them go. No, we can't do that. Fuck. I think actually we, we actually could. <laughs> is the thing. I think there, there is like a... Uh, we could be slavers. No, we we could also set them free. I just don't know what ha like uh, the process for that. Like, what is the? Do they get captured and re thingied or like? Y you you, know? c you can bestow as owners um, freedom, and then as long as they don't break any laws, I think they're good. They become subjects. I... <sighs> so, uh, well, as find I, as I... find what the worth is, and then we can. You probably need to go to the magistrate to do that, and there's probably coin involved, which makes it prohibitive to... Uh... Yep. As I was saying, freedom is a possibility, although we are already at a significant financial and resource burden. Do you understand how it is? We had losses in terms of property, people, and coin, and we were given different property and people to make up for it. The issue is going to end up being coin at some levels. They are slaver scum, says, says one of the uh, Svurf to the others. Speaking in gnome, I don't know if you speak gnome. No, I don't speak gnome. Okay. Did I take comprehend languages? It's something I probably <laughs> should take at some point. 
no, I, I took uh, True Strike. In, I took True Strike instead because okay. your I your uh, your your explanation, while verbose, kind of gets the point that you, you're not gonna. They're getting the sense they're not gonna be let off the hook. Yeah, it's not well. So what what I was kind of getting at is we might be able to set some of them free at the uh, for good service from other ones is a is something more that's possible. Um, okay. You've dis be... you've disheartened all the Zverv Neblin. They're looking Perfect. rather grim. They've had their fill of water and have started yep. to retreat back into the cage. That's exactly what we wanted. All right. <laughs> uh, food will be coming it's shortly. Not a bad idea, Fox. That's yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, work it off. Right. This Find is... the value and work them off. This is yes. <laughs> yeah, the fox. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was describing. Where I, the, I, I the, knew the goblins are now causing the two house guard that are trying to give them water to retreat as they're flinging poo and the detritus of one of the dead goblins at the guards and kind of sending them scrambling back. Disgusting creatures! We should kill them. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Random. <laughs> yes. Mr. Shaman, are you home? It appears. Yes. It's a female goblin, yep. I think. I think it was a male. No, I don't remember. I can't really tell the difference. <laughs> Just a haggard-looking goblin and some a loose uh, torn. What a goblin tunic. when they misbehave. <laughs> Let's see. I wrote down. Yeah, I'm thinking the Swerf will make good employees. They've got a yeah. bunch of skills. They're they're rather. They seem pretty well educated. There's a bunch of crafts. Like I think they would end up being not warriors, but people that you know, make the house function. And we will be the house of the Sverf, and why don't you have House Hin? It's, well, they die. You have to train them all the time, so we'll have... <laughs> I've got female last. goblin, shaman, apprentice. Okay? Oh, female... Okay, that's... In my, I... in my head, it's just, like, goblin voice. I can establish top And given that she's already... Uh, let's just roll up a goblin name generator on 7th Sanctum. And uh, first names, sure. Okay, okay. names. Twenty names. <laughs> the delay when it makes when certain chat lines pop up, you're not certain what that's in reference to, but I know. I'm assuming it's you shooting them in the face when they misbehave, or you shoot Magnus in the face to establish dominance. <laughs> no, Magnus. I'm sorry for a gut. <laughs> Her name is Rox Sobernot. So we could do our own goblin in the box match where we bring our own goblins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's stick him in a stick him in a box. <laughs> Easy to do. Yes. We are trying to bring water and food. Um, we'd also like to clean this cage. We're trying to figure out where to move you all. Um, it would be well if you did not throw feces at the help. She she turns to the others and speaks in Goblin. I don't know if any of you understand. <laughs> Throw the ones with chunks of corn. <laughs> eh, you notice that they all back away at whatever she said. She nods to you. The soldiers come forward and gonna start like pushing little little cups of water through. Goblins are scrambling up and grabbing the cups and Ah, uh, your
There is a goblin house here. Are you familiar with it? I do not know where we are. Fatipole. She shakes her head no. We are not from Vatapol. We are from... Shadow Wits. On the border between Glyphmere Fens. On coast. We are still near... We are still near coast. I can smell. Yes. I believe it's the other coast. <laughs> I tried to sell shit cover chihuahuas. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Mark. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, do you want a chihuahua? <laughs> I know it's full of shit, but <laughs> it's a shitty chihuahua. <laughs> there is a Sindara. Is there a queen here? Are you familiar with that name? No. <laughs> Should be true. A different goblin queen. There are many goblins. I assume they have many queens. We have many queens. Back in the Shadow Wood. They are the ones that breed the princess. And princesses, the future queens. <clears throat> For the king and his shamans. Hmm. My hips were not big enough to become princess. How skilled are you and your kin in there. Any seasoned warriors? Why do you ask? We run a ludus. Are you familiar with the term? She shakes her head no. We work with gladiators, paid fighters. Yes, I know. Many goblins die in the pits. We have our pits of our own. We throw humans in, make them die. Make our enemies die. Lots of death. All in the name of Meglubiet. Our lord in chains. It's one of those watchbuckers. Yeah, it'll do. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. Food will be coming shortly. What circle can you cast? She does not like that question. She understands this question, though. And I need a roll from the fucking stream! So, uh, let's go to our random generator. And let's <laughs> see how... circle spells. Oh, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> You didn't know that they were poking me with a stick every morning, so I couldn't prepare. If it wasn't for these planner bindings, that were... <laughs> I'd be like, fuck out of here. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, uh, I need a percentile for how... Uh, what level she is. D100. This is for... Um, this is for uh, Rox Sobernot. So, Seven. Mark, are you actually volunteering Damon to... to coach 10 goblins into becoming swashbucklers? Is that what you're... <laughs> and then uh, she is a spellcaster so we'll just roll percentile until there's a spellcaster. D100. 22. Uh, okay. Um, a D6. Six is DM pick. Okay, so there's a stream pick then. The stream gets to pick between a divine caster or a arcane caster. Wizard, sorcerer, bard, or other. Uh, 
and divine casters could be adept, um, cleric, oracle, druid. I'm sure there are others, but. Mark, I don't know if Mark counts as part of the stream in this case. I don't think so. Let's vote for Sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking Divine because she we did we did say she's a shaman and not a witch doctor. Yep. So Divine kind of makes sense, but Adept, Cleric, Oracle, or Druid. If you pick Adept, I will make her one level higher. You could always retrain Ooh. Adept into a different class, but. Because we rolled rather low for her level. So Lucas is saying Oracle or Druid. Hmm. Mark is telling us he wins. <laughs> <laughs> do what we're going to do, Mark. We're going to be super entertaining, and then you're going to be super tired at work tomorrow. That's what's going to happen, Mark. It's happened to me before. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> no, Drew, she'll fly away in a level or two. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> Maglubiet is a neutral evil god, so Maglubiet could have uh, neutral, neutral evil and neutral uh, druids. Maglubiet is the god of war and domination. <laughs> I. Yeah. Establish your dominance. <laughs> spell is dimensional anchor again? For it. Yeah. <laughs> you like Oracle. Okay, well, yeah, we got like two, divine. two votes for Oracle and both of those, and one vote for Druid. So, Oracle it is. Yeah, alright. So, she's a second level oracle and i will choose the uh i will choose the rest uh she she doesn't answer she doesn't like your question are you going to try to convert me to your strange god of many faces i do not have a strange god of many faces <laughs> gladiators get to worship their religions freely Why can't my villain point? No. <laughs> no. I am but an acolyte, as I said. First circle is all I can do. If that means there's room to improve, that shows that you have the ability. It means you're valuable. You're worth far more than the rest of them. Combined. Hmm. Yes, she says. But they will follow my words. Do you feel matronly towards them? I do not understand your meaning. Do you feel responsible for their well-being? They are goblins. Would you be upset if you were separated from them? Depends. If you have any problems controlling them, let us know and we'll take care of whoever is causing difficulties. That one! She points at one. Okay. Uh, There's one goblin with a really big nose. It's been broken uh, a couple times, so it's all bent. Okay, one, one second. need to learn more languages because all right uh 
Ashoka is going to cast a true strike, and then he's going to scorching ray that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't roll a one. Okay, the scorching ray goes right through the bars. Are you seventh level yet? Uh, yes, I am. You have two rays. Uh, I volunteer to not use a second one. Okay. So, 11 damage to that one. Alright, knocks out the goblin. All the goblins go running away from the bars and they're trying to hide in the back corner. She She's still holding onto the bars and didn't move. Ashoka points to the uh, to the to Rock's uh, Sober Knot. Yep. <laughs> he points. He stares. He walks away. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rocks goes over, and she sticks a hand out. She's talking a goblin to one of them. One of them comes up and gives her a goblin femur. Which looks like they took from one of the goblins they killed. She starts hitting him in the head. Takes her a couple of hits, but... There we go. Nine. And then there were nine. <laughs> and, and then there were nine. <laughs> yeah, we'll race... And we'll cross off one of the male goblins. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Smurf, which can see this. <laughs> yeah, they, they look horrified. Uh, the mysterious one is still just glowering at you, but... I hope you understand. Uh, so Sona and the others come down, and they they do not like what they No, saw. they're good, like, they're good-hearted people. Yep. Uh... Magnus, should we be treating them this way? Says Sona, quietly. I can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> We're going to be fighting them anyway. Sona's eyes go wide at this. <laughs> so if you don't understand what they're saying, they get scorched. <laughs> hey, you're talking about the goblins, right? Here, yeah. Uh... yeah. If you take a look in that cage, they cannibalized one of their own. Who do you think led the cannibalization? Look, I, look, Ashoka knows what he's doing with them. Let him take them out. Come on, let's, the, let's, the way let's go feed to... the little gray people. <laughs> That's what Train says. He let's go he and help the other ones. Yeah, he doesn't care we about We need goblins. them healthy. There, Sona, there, there's some real assholes upstairs, says Drain. Sona. Hmm? Could you explain to these fine gentlemen uh, and lady your situation with your family in the winery uh sure he, he goes on and describes how he serves so that his family can basically continue on with their religious practices and not be persecuted by the inquisition because samsaran are special mm -hmm. at least there's wine you hear him say at least once Serve me, mysterious lady gnome. Serve me <laughs> willingly. <laughs> While I burn goblins in front of you. Hey, hey. Why are you... Why aren't you looking after us? We're humans after all. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, save the orcs for last. We'll... We'll wait for a moment. What campaign did we have that. the the assholey old man yep. from Braveheart to the the oh um, uh, was it symbols gift? Uh, might have been symbols gift. Like the noble guy or the uh, the Scottish guy, the the old English soldier. 
Yes. Uh... Aristocrats Adventures. You spared his life, and then he was... Oh, wow, we had a lot of... Ending story. <laughs> Gleaming Dale? Yeah, it probably would have been Gleaming Dale. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. You remember who I'm talking about, right? Uh, I think so. It's the guy that. It, it, the. Uh, the early scene with the. the the premarital rapening. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, that guy. Um, uh, Let me just look up evil old soldier from Braveheart. Isn't it that guy, the guy that got, like, the, the first, like, uh, town that they took? Like, the First part of the uprising. Yep, it's that guy. Um. He's the one that kind of was all cagey and and saw, um, saw Braveheart sneaking around. Yeah. Oh, I, f I found it. Oh, he looks he looks so crooked. <laughs> this guy. Okay, I got it. I got it. The token. <laughs> okay. Uh, he need he needs a uh, 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 a good name, like Clyde. Is it a good name? The evil bastard. Clyde. Marcus. All right. Oh, did I give him a name already? Oh yeah, his name is Josephus the the Shiv. Josephus. Josephus. A, a Josie. He's uh, he's Josie. He's Josas. <laughs> All right, there, uh, Jose. Hey, hey, you gonna look after us now? Why are you poking around all them uh, lessers? <laughs> what a little piece of work we have over here. <laughs> we need to make certain they haven't gone and cannibalized each other. <laughs> That's right. You ain't got no cannibals in here now. We would have killed them and ate them. <laughs> yeah. Of ah, you got nothing to worry about these fucks. Mutineers. Deserters. You should let me go, though. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Hmm. What skills do you have? Well, soldiering. Yeah. Lots of soldiering. I knows which way the battle's going. Know which way things are turning. Know where to find stuff. <laughs> Mark, Mark's in the chat. <laughs> the creeper, the creeper, not allowed in my neighborhood. <laughs> the guy looks fine. He didn't look like he was looking for water. He looked fine. Hmm. Would your skills happen to pass into the arcane? Arcane? Okay. Nah. My daggers have slit the throats of a few wizards before they managed to bumble off their spells. Don't like wizards much. <laughs> I'm gonna cast detect magic. Oh, high and mighty and such. Okay. Magic coming from inside that. Room. Yes. Is does Jawsy have magic on him? Uh, yes. All right. <laughs> oh, Mark's is going off. <laughs> Mark is funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, 16 spellcraft, so 
Hendrick. Something about his clothing on the inside of his shirt might be magical. Hmm. You're able to keep on to the valuable things when you got in here. <laughs> Not really. They took me. They took me valuables. Don't like having too much. Managed to nick a thing, a, a thing or two. Yeah. He pulls out like a silver um, flask. You want a nip? Okay, yeah, I'll take it. I'll give it a good sniff. Okay. There's some bad rum in it. I will feed some to Nim. Okay. Ah, yes, thank you. Thank you, Master. Very polite. Nim, 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 nim. I'll hand it back to, to <laughs> Josie. Hey. Is, it, is, it, is the flask itself magical, or is it just... No, the pocket. No. The whatever, the, the piece of clothing yeah. that he pulled this thing yeah, out that of. Is, yeah. It's underneath his shirt. You can't quite tell yeah. what it is, but you're yeah, guessing yeah. the same kind of magic as uh, bags of holding or... Uh... Hey, well, I got little critter there. there. Hey, critter doesn't bite, does it? No, not, not unless it needs to bite. I prefer my tail, though. And he pulls at his tail like it's a thing. <laughs> it's a fucking imp. You got an imp there on your shoulder. You some sort of wizard. No, I wouldn't slit your throat. Your throat looks too all too scaly. I slit other wizards' throats, and we can we can rummage through their pockets. You can keep the books. Eh? Eh? Mark, Jawsy is in. Just in case you're wondering, he's in. He might not even be a gladiator. I'm thinking he's like a house guard. <laughs> He'll watch you while you're sleeping. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to be going over some. He, he he speaks more broadly. Over the next few days, we'll be doing assessments of people's skills. Yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, Mark, you wanted to kill Aka. I would have, Jawsy will be Akka. I would have teach him Akka's language, just so that, you know... <laughs> Skin his face and make him wear it. It's been a while <laughs> since I've gone through ba uh, some some training. Been a, well, I was militia training, oh, that was ages ago. Rest of these fucks. Probably not good for nothing. Hey, shut up. You shut up or I'll fucking teach you again. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> Who's the guy that, uh... Oh, just one of the other humans. I'm just wondering if anybody, like, who's got the balls? Did anybody else got balls in here? Apparently not. It's alright. No. Hmm. Rest of them think they're getting out of it. Hey, I got, I got some idea. I'm all yes. Well, you see this one? He's a, he's a, he's a deserter. Assaulted an officer or something like that. It's not a very unforgivable crime. But I know you've got the paperwork. Why don't you switch my name with his? That way you could just pay my fine. <laughs> what are you saying? Don't do that. This guy running up to him. Don't listen to him. Well, how's that guy? What does that guy look like? Uh, like a skinny man. Warrior, maybe. What did you do? To He's all bruised. In this position, uh, my officer gave me a a bum order. I was too slow to act upon it. Yeah, you ran away, didn't you? Get back from the bars. You know, he's like, he's got it. something in a leather glove that he's using to to hit the guy with, and the guy the guy shrinks back from him. <laughs> Just switch on. His name's Clyde. Don't mind the name Clyde. Could wear it like a glove. Like a whole new beginnings, eh? Ah, uh, please don't. Please don't switch our names. He's condemned. Yes, says you. Or well, it could be anyone that I want to. <laughs> oh, 
Mark. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has browbeat these seven other men into yep hmm. of course some of them might not be able to get at him like they've got chains that are led to like the back wall like they can't all reach yep. each other yep food will be here. coming shortly alright but times mm -hmm. we gets to eat something you the ones that killed all the pirates, eh? Give us a bit of a show there. Yes. Which one's you the wolfie? <laughs> uh, Shoka looks sort of at Zed, who's like across the way with the tree. All right, some sort of shape-shifting bastards, eh? Yeah, you really showed them, showed them slavers. <laughs> Never owned a slave. Wouldn't mind it. Hmm. Uh, many opportunities in this world. That's right. That's right. We're all on the same level, I think. Especially if you have your head on right and you're not. I'm, I'm talking all sort of cockney. Fucking right there, mate. There's all sorts of ways to go ahead in this world if you're not willing to get your hands with a bit of muck on them. <laughs> uh, if you're willing to work for it. Not afraid of a of a, a dirty day's work. Of course. I'd rather work smarter than harder. Don't we all? Or any of the rest of you casters? <laughs> Simple as Jawsy team up episode. <laughs> Tell me it wouldn't be the best thing. Sid, <laughs> 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 Jawsy, and I don't know, <laughs> Nim. <laughs> that wasn't very polite. <laughs> <laughs> Let them respond to the inquiry of casters. Uh, no. Uh, okay. give me a second. One in one hundred chance. No. Uh, Josie. <sighs> that guy. I kind of feel like we. Like, I suggest you smash your face with the floor for funsies. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, for funsies. Oh, it's so fun. Head, 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 head. A reward was set for the, um, for the prisoners, and Damien is... Basically, uh, filing the papers, uh, so that at the magistrate's office, so that like warrants are basically going to be put out for Pennywise. It's ten grand. They have not scried on them yet, mm -hmm. or attempted to do so. All right. So Ashoka leaves uh, leaves uh, Josephus and the other humans, uh, the human prisoners, alone. Uh, who are you going to go speak to now? Uh, I think it's to go talk to Half Orcs because that's the only ones that we haven't talked okay, to. Okay, so um, let's see. I have five D twenty, uh, no five D one ten, and we'll say eight or higher. Uh, there we need to actually do some rolls. Oh, only one of them. Uh, I need a D one hundred from the from the group. There's one half orc that might stand out, aside from just ruffian. Well, they want it. They want to put. It, so I heard them say they wanted to put out the bounties just so everything seemed legit, but they didn't want to pay the bounties. So it sounded like they might go after him on their own. We're gonna go after him on our own, but we want to make certain that if we don't catch him, and then the people are like, "Well, what happened?" And we didn't say, "Well, we went to try to get him." Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, all right. The whole... So, oh, 51. 51. Did you make an accident claim? No. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So you weren't in a car accident. No, so but, but we were. But we were in a car accident. Oh, yeah. one of those. 
Okay. 51. All right. Not no special template. Character power. D100 again. How powerful are you? I don't know if it's a fine. Uh, there's a chance one of us will end up having to serve his sentence. <laughs> Okay, I'll roll one of these. <laughs> well, somebody was in charge of him, was his Primus. All right, D100 for the Shut class. <laughs> <laughs> what class are you, young half-orc? Young adult half-orc. Hawk. Hawk. Thirty-three are condemned in criminal school. So, uh, D6. Four is a divine caster. What the fuck? Hey, priests everywhere. This is awesome. <laughs> we have the optimal leverage of you can worship. One adept. Two is cleric. Three is war priest, we'll say. Four is oracle. Five is Hork, the Horkish oracle. Six is are there other? We'll do other. D six. Uh, Paladonic would be one of the others. One is an adept. Okay. Okay, and I need to know what the lignament, but I will roll this on my own. Those are half orcs. It's wide open. DM decides. Hmm. Okay. I'm to decide which book to pull the god from. I will pull it from this god. Does this he book? have, like, uh, tie-dye patterns in his clothing and, like, One, two, three, dreadlocks four, six, seven, with, eight, like, nine, old flowers nine, in him? 12, and 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 20, Some sort of STD? <laughs> <laughs> this minus two. He's, he's the Pokemon nine. trainer of STDs, isn't he? <laughs> 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 I give you itchiness. <laughs> Ash oh, ketchup. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Okay. Weird. I don't like it. He worships Cthulhu. No. It's just weird. Three. Six. Nine, <laughs> you see the berry here. The berry adept. He worships berry. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, and I like better. No, nope, he's a uh, he's a scarred orc. Ah, uh, well, you you go down to look at the half orcs. Yeah, they're uh, they're, they're eating they're the food that so they should you know. They're eating the food that they're provided to them. There are three male, two female. Oh, we'll say uh, which one is the... Yeah, it's the male that is. <clears throat> Greetings. Do you understand this tongue? Actually, we'll make it the female. Uh, which one are you speaking? Uh, I would be speaking the, the, the comedy common. First. Imperial or Stygian common? Imperial. Don't think they're from here. So I uh, now need to know to retrain Aka language into Stygian common. But yeah. A couple of them bob their heads. All right. How are things? <laughs> you could let us out. I remember what they were like if they were they did anything specific or were they a group or are they just a bunch of half orcs that sort of got put into a lot did, done different because half orcs would be like half human too so there's a good chance that they were part of society uh, uh yeah it, there's a they look like they are dressed similarly like they may have been part of the same hmm. city not quite like the same unit but they're dressed similarly. 
we killed the pirates that were transporting you. Okay. The female half orc is quite large, or one of the females. Like, like pregnant mm -hmm. large? No, no. I mean, I mean like brawny. Like beat your face in. I'm the half orc. Hey, sweetie, how are you doing? Kind of large. <laughs> um, oh, Okie dokie. Her name is Olga. <laughs> uh. All right. Um, we have now been given the task of determining what to do with the groups of yourselves. Uh, she's got stark red hair. She's got uh, a bit of a bear cloak. And you're she's... impressive. She doesn't seem to understand. She she knows you're talking to her, but what is she? What is she saying? She says in Orcish. Huh. Uh, he'll try draconic. No, the half orcs don't seem to know what you're doing. Okay. He'll try the Akka language? Hmm? No. They, they that human had to come from speak. somewhere. <laughs> nope. Um, They're like, probably a fresh off the boat from Stygia, the other continent. Stygian common and orc is what you're guessing. All right. We're going to... All right, Nam. <laughs> all right, familiar, you do the talking. Uh, what, like, uh, Imperial... Oh, he does. Oh, he. No, oh, no, never mind. He does not know that many languages. Although I think he knows the same languages <laughs> I do. Um, Magnus, Magnus can hear them talking in Stygian common. Magnus, could you come down here for a moment? Yeah. Hey, what do you need? There is a large woman here that seems a perhaps appropriate replacement for you. What? What? For the mating ritual. Okay, well, one of them that could speak imperially is is interpreting. She gives him a backhanded slap while he's still laughing about it, and then she glowers at Ashoka and Magnus. Magnus is glowering at Ashoka. Is like. Magnus is making that face right there. <laughs> yeah, like, Fuck this. <laughs> An asshole. I am no breeding slave, is what she says in Stygian. I am a priestess of Lurg. What's she saying? She's saying she's a priestess of Lurg. Hmm. Lurg. That's what she said. I'm just gonna check with. I'm gonna check to see if my familiar knows what a lurg is. <laughs> uh. In check on <laughs> lurg. Yeah, knowledge, uh, knowledge, religion. A knowledge in check on lurg. Uh, <laughs> eight. <laughs> I don't know what a lurg is. Master. Neither do I. Um, Magnus? Ask, a, ask a what a lurg is. <laughs> Magnus, you can, uh, given that you're a barbarian, you can have a plus two on this. In check. Yeah. Sure, buddy. 1d20 plus two. So, 16 is from, from the from Nim, but Nim doesn't know. 11! No, Lurg is the name of a god. Sixteen is from whom? Uh, Nimi. Uh, Nim. Sorry. Oh. Oh, Lurg. Yes, a, a minor goddess of a minor god of uh, of a great bear. Um, it is a god of beasts, a ferocious savage god, not one that is very polite. 
she worships a bear god. Ursa, that's a cool name. That is a cool name. <laughs> Let's, like, that's what to make her a bear maiden, I think? I'm not sure. In Ashoka's brain, he's going, maybe she's more suitable for Zed. Uh, but... <laughs> you should let us out of this cage. And we will show you what we can do. Of course, she's speaking saying, this. let us out of the cage and show, we'll show you what, you can, what we can do. So are you fighters, then? Of course. Good, we, have the, we, have the blood, we have the blood of Groomsh in our veins. Blood of Groomsh, blah, 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 okay. They're, they're fighters. She, she doesn't like your... <laughs> <laughs> your dismissive Look, tone. Uh, <laughs> you, uh... Nem, Nem, could you fetch Zed for a moment? Maybe he will have better luck. Yes, master. Oh, Zed. Are you done talking to the tree? Okay. Um... <laughs> the master uh -huh. Ashoka wishes your, um, your, your green politeness downstairs. All right. Uh, yes. Zargon? Yes. <laughs> if, it, if it moves threateningly, it'll get burned. <laughs> and if it doesn't move threateningly? It might still get burned. <laughs> Sid would love Zargon. <laughs> No burning. Do not tell it that. It does not understand our language. We'll learn. It, snor it snorts a little bit of fire out of its nose and the tree that tries to move away from the dragon. <laughs> okay, Zed, Zed will leave Zargon with the tree. This, this way, young Master Zed. Okay. Um, said there is a to your eyes a beautiful red haired half orc woman in a cage she looks she she's got she's got fierce looking eyes and and she's quite fetching oh yeah well well I wouldn't have been cold if communication was going smoothly, he'll say in Orcish. Let me out in the name of Lurg, and I'll show you what I can do. I guess that's going to be all knowledge religion. Uh, yeah, Ur yeah Drake's, that's why I like Ursa, because Ursa does mean bear. Uh, Lurg. Mm -hmm. You are not... You are hungry and ill-rested. It would not be fair. No, life is not fair. Beasts go for many days without food. It makes them stronger when food is near. This, these bars, these constraints have not overwhelmed me yet. But it is a lesson a lesson we must learn. A lesson of Lurg. We were not fierce enough and we allowed this to happen to ourselves. He, he goes and talks back in common. What's a Lurg? <laughs> uh, do, we, do we know what a Lurg is? Bear God. Uh, what are the gods? What's wrong with you? <laughs> There is opportunity for redemption. There's an opportunity for freedom, as I understand it. They will make us fight, won't they? Yeah. Yes. Lurg is a god of beasts and strength. He's also a god of competition. <laughs> 